that, my friends, is an Akron Genesis Shinobi Tea. Runs beautiful. I always will love Akron Genesis. So before we get into this locomotive here, let's go check out the progress we have to do in the back. And yes, yes, we have a lot done and a lot more upcoming. So let's go check it out. Uh, so check out these awesome rocks I created. Now go check out my older videos on the early creation of all this, and you'll see how I created this. Really simple technique, watered down plaster and aluminum foil. Not bad. Not bad, eh? <laughs> Anyways, we got some more done here also. Down in the bottom. Just kind of getting colors mixed in and getting it put in. Got some different colors I've been playing with. Still need to tweak it. Not bad. There's the Atherin coming into our cliff face here, along with our trestle. I'm still debating if I want to continue keeping that trestle. I'm not sure. I really don't want to create myself a problem right now. So, Atherin's run beautiful over, and Atherin's run beautiful through Devil Mountain. Let's take note of that. Also, down in here, I cleaned up. Really nice. Got to change the color of the pond feature. Let's not forget about our real water and we're gonna put guppies and fish in here. Yes, that's coming up, that's coming up. Won't be long for that. So how can we not talk about the water scene? Let's get on to it. This water scene, for those of y'all that don't know, was created with epoxid. Again, epoxid does not eat foam. Went ahead and put my bright colors down and below. Put my greenery, such as represents overgrowth, algae, or whatever you think. And there you go, you have it all riddled throughout. Beautiful, beautiful feature that anyone can do. Very simple. Biggest thing, you do not want to go clean through your foam and carving, because then you're gonna have to deal with the ceiling around the foam when it hits the plywood. So that's what we got done with that. Oh, there's Atherin in the far distance. Zoom y'all in. Oh, she runs beautiful. <laughs> Still have to do some work for that brown, that white meat here. So we're gonna have to figure that out. It'll come in time, it'll come in time. So last but certainly not least, this is my blue paper towel method I've used. It's one, two, two layers here and there throughout. And as you can see, it's very, very sturdy. All right, so let's get on to the big news with our new locomotive that we just got in the other day. No! So there she is, a beautiful BNSF, highly detailed, locomotive. All right, so let's take this out the package and I'm gonna give you my honest thoughts of how I feel right now with this locomotive. And don't worry guys, this is just my opinion. Please do your own research before you do anything. This is just my opinion, my experiences, and my, uh, sort of, sort of say, um, failure with with this okay so 
This is how I strictly feel for me right at this moment in time. So that's all. That's it. So, so with that being said, we'll take it out of this package because I'm putting this away for quite some time because it just makes me sad whenever I see it on the layout, just sitting on the layout. Okay, so that's my honest opinion right now and how I feel right now in the moment. I may wake up tomorrow or the next and just full on for this and try to do more work with it, right? I had bad luck with this locomotive starting with a screw backing out in here. So the screw fell out, the cars were attached to here, the coupler fell onto the track, didn't pay attention to the locomotive, coming back around, bumped the coal train it was pulling through Devil Mountain, fell on the floor into the side like this, busted the front plow, which makes me so sad. <laughs> 300 buck locomotive had to figure out how I was going to fix that screw because once it hit the floor you cannot send this in again and ask for a warranty they're not going to honor it so um went ahead and super glued the original coupler in which that's another discouragement for me oh forgot to mention that I did bust this um the shock broke this coupler off but this screw stayed in so we have broken couplers here a super glue coupler here with a different coupler and by the way the coupler that came with this locomotive is metal she still does run good but she never did run on my layout at all it would run one two three four five times pretty good and on the sixth or seventh lap she would derail she would either derail in the mountain, she would derail before the mountain, she would derail after the mountain. That was before it hit the floor. Oh, and another thing, um, the handrails, you just look at them, they come off. I don't know, it's it's like the fit don't fit as well in the hole. This detailing they have is awesome in here, but it's very loose and it falls out. So I had a lot of trouble with that. All the detailing down in the trucks could have a snag issue you can see so there's too much going on with this locomotive for me to run her on the layout and trust her i cannot trust it on my layout because it may hit the floor again i don't i don't want if i cannot run this train higher than 10 11 12 speed step to me that's just not you know it's not typical for my layout my layout can run those other locomotives i have on a higher speed step you want and it doesn't have any trouble we'll box her back up and put her away she's still a chugging just a chug 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 <laughs> and one more last thing before i head out i want to thank everybody in the train community the big thing is even though i do not go by and i leave a comment i'm, I'm always trying to leave a like on the people and things i see no, I'm sorry it's not everyone, but I feel the grace for everyone in the train community that do know me. And even just knowing me and seeing what's going on here just is a plus for me, you know. Um, even though you do not comment or, or like or anything, I will never forget on how this channel was started. So it does not mean if I do not go by your channel, it does not mean I do not support you. I support everyone in my heart and in my mind here at HO Power Train. It's a plus for the comments, for the engagement and all. It's a plus and I'm thankful for that. But I just want to let everyone know that I'm not petty and I still love everyone in the community and appreciate it just for the community being there and putting out videos. That's all. Plain and said, you know, you cannot get everything done in a day, week, or, you know, your brain just does not work like that. You know, we're all human beings and it's just the way it is. But in my mind, in my heart, I'll always remember the folks that always did come here or always did let themselves be known. That would never make me dislike anybody in the community. So I just want to let you guys know that just because I'm not going by channels does not mean anything negative towards you or anyone. Hell, I got to get back to work and get things done. So have a great Monday, great rest of the week. 
Keep spreading the grace. And again, love your trainers. Peace out.